Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm yours, Jack, and this is a video tutorial. A little bit out of the ordinary, but this is a video tutorial on using the new iLife 11. And this is it. You can see that all right. It's iLife 11. Or as I'm going to uh, kind of refer to it as i Half Life 11. Now the reason I say that, it seems that Apple for $49 upgrade, which isn't bad for what you're receiving, but still for a $49 upgrade, you think they would also upgrade iDVD and the iWeb applications. That's all the same package, but they chose not to do that. They chose to only update um, iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand with this particular update. And I'm going to go ahead and show you those um, here as soon as we get started with iLife 11. Once again, it's $49, $49 upgrade. Now, before we get started with that, I want to uh, introduce you to my new, uh, newly updated website. I uh, received some uh, comments on the old website here and there that it needed updated. So it still has the same basic layout, but it's a lot uh, easier to navigate around it. Uh, it's basically a one one page right now. now I'm going to work on some more content for the website. But uh, at the very top here, I want you to come here and click on this like button. If you're a member of Facebook, click on the like button. We're trying to uh, increase the number of people that actually uh, like the website and get that pushed out there through Facebook so your friends and family can see uh, what we're putting on here. Uh, once again, it has everything that the old website had. It has all the DVD collections if you're excited enough to buy one. Uh, go in there and actually purchase a copy of the DVDs. Uh, please uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's a good way to find out about new videos when I post them. Uh, they pop up right there on Twitter and you'll see it. Or if I make any blog posts or anything else, it's on Twitter. Uh, join our Facebook group. Uh, there's a lot of people joining the group and I'm glad uh, that everybody's coming by to join the group uh, with us on Facebook. Or just donate to the show if you want to help out and keep the website going and keep the... Uh, you know, all this software, I just uh, received uh, Photoshop Elements 9 in the mail, so all this software coming in, uh, the new iLife 11, you know, you got to keep updated on all this stuff. So that's it. Let's go ahead and get started looking at the new iLife 11. Let me come down here first. We're first going to talk about i photo and what they did with iPhoto and is it really worth the upgrade? The first thing I noticed right away I thought was really nice is they changed the folders. Um, just makes them look nicer. When you have a album built it now is a folder with a little uh, picture sticking out of it. So it looks really nice. Uh, everything else basically stayed the same the way it's laid out. Um, and when you convert this over when you install it don't worry about backing up your old one or anything. You can just as a safety measure but you don't have to. Uh, by any means what it does it actually takes all of your uh, photos and it converts it to the new database anyway for you uh, it worked very well I have a ton of photos in here and I didn't lose anything at all now here's the key stuff that I do like uh, about the new iPhoto that would probably be worth the upgrade it has and you might have seen this if you've been watching Apple's uh, keynotes but it has a new full screen mode so we're going to bring that up. Now full screen mode, you can see right here, these are all my albums. And what makes full screen mode nice is that it takes use of your whole real estate of your screen. We can make these albums a little larger if we want, so we can see them a little better, or a little smaller, so we can fit more on the screen, whatever you wish to do. Now it works really nice because it also works like your events do. And what I mean by that is, as you move your mouse over here, over each album, you can see what pictures are in the album itself. Now, another thing I like about this, if you come up here and you put your mouse on any of these albums, it's going to tell you right beside the name here how many pictures are in that album. I thought that's pretty cool. You know, you, sometimes you try to open an album, you're like, I didn't think those pictures were in there or not in there or whatever. So that is a really nice feature. If we go down here on the bottom, on the uh, toolbar on the bottom, you can click on events. And again, these are your events just like you have in uh, iPhoto uh, 09. 
These are your vents. You can again scroll through just like so. Next we have faces. The faces, they did a nice job with it. Uh, it's full screen now, and it's on just a full screen cork board. There was a cork board before, it's just you couldn't make it full screen. I thought that was really nice. So here we have the new places. And the places is pretty much like it used to be, where you can actually put a pin on the map based on where the picture is actually taken at. But what makes this nice now is it has a full screen view. You can also get a satellite view if you'd like to have that kind of view, or a hybrid view, which is kind of both. Uh, I usually like the terrain view, but it does narrow down, it does zero down really, really nice. This map will actually uh, blow up really nice, and you can almost uh, get to the point where you could be at the street level. Uh, you, it does take a little time. I'm not going to demonstrate that right now, but um, you have, you know, if you have a really good internet connection, have a little bit of time, these maps will actually zoom up really, really nice. The next thing I wanted to show you with the uh, new iPhoto 11 is albums. Now what makes this nice is basically when you have your mouse on here, it shows down here the number of pictures you have in your album. And I thought that was really nice. It also allows you to scrub over them with your mouse. Just move your mouse over it and you can see what pictures are in that album just like you can with events. The last thing is projects, and if you have an iPad, you can see where they got this bookshelf from. This bookshelf is actually a, a replica of the iPad if you uh, read any iBooks. Um, that's where they got this idea from, I'm sure. Uh, they, they, they claim that a lot of this full screen stuff came from the invention of the iPad and the understanding of more users want the full screen experience, and I understand where they're coming from. Now we're going to go back to the regular mode there we just click down to the left there shut the full screen off and I created a slideshow with the new slideshow uh, templates and I wanted to go ahead and give you that demonstration now of what it looks like these are very easy all you do is select your pictures you'll go down to create and you'll create a slideshow and just walk through each step let's go ahead and have a little preview of that now That's the new hinge view, or hanging view. It's very interesting. Okay. And just as before, before with your slideshows, you can actually export those out. You can export those out to um, iMovie or iDVD. And you can actually take those and burn those on DVD and play them on your TV set. So it's a very nice program. Very easy to use. The other thing they did, if we take this picture here and you go down here to the uh, right, you click on Share. And you have a bunch of different ways you can share. You can order prints. Mobile Me, if you uh, subscribe to the Mobile Me, Flickr, send them off to your Flickr account, your Facebook account, or you can email them. And the new email package is built right in to iPhoto 11. So what that means is you don't have to attach it to an email, or we used to have to export it out and then hook it to an email or embed it in the email. It just does all that for you now. It frames it, makes it really, really nice, and you can play with that. And in this part here, I wanted to tell you about the new iMovie 11. Now, the iMovie 11 is a worthwhile upgrade if you are a video junkie. Now, I do some video, but very, very uh, slim amounts. That is why I use iMovie and not the uh, pro-type uh, photo editing packages. Um, you know, I just don't need all that hassle trying to edit my videos down. So, I just want something very, very simple to use. 
Now with the new package, I would say it's worth it because under clip here, you can do things like slow motion. You can have a part of your video that you could just slow down. Fast forwards, you can speed up a part. Uh, that's really fun to do. You know, when you start talking and then you start talking real fast and, and you know, it, it makes a nice effect on the videos. Instant replay. You can take a part of your video and actually replay that part over and over again. Jump cut to beat markers. Uh, fade to black. Uh, or Spire or Dream and special effects um, flash and hold of last frame split at beat markers and flip at beat markers so you have a lot of stuff you can do there with your videos now another nice thing I don't know if you've ever used iMovie but is the ability to work with the sound of individual areas of your footage you know we've always been able to work with sound just by going here and clicking the pull down menu and you can go on to uh, audio adjustments and we've always had this menu now you do have a little bit more in here now like the equalizer and that stuff uh, let's click done on here but now we can actually um, go right into uh, here where it says show or hide audio waveform now what this allows us to do is we can actually click on this bar and we can pull this waveform up and down you can see we're just working on a clip we're not working on the whole entire footage so if you have something that's a little loud in your uh, video, you can just highlight that and just bring that volume down. So that is really, really nice. So that part is really up to you uh, with the iMovie. I'm not going to introduce you to the GarageBand. I haven't used GarageBand since I was a podcaster, uh, creating actually audio podcasts instead of being a videocaster or videocaster now. So I'm not going to introduce you to GarageBand. You can play with it if you want. Um, maybe if you actually play music. Um, it's really nice. I guess it has some nice features in there uh, to teach you how to play the either the piano, the keyboard, or teach you how to play the guitar. So that's really nice uh, if you're into that. So again, this is uh, iLife 11. That's what we were talking about. Uh, I'll show you this one more time here. That's the package. iLife 11, or as I call it, remember, I call it I Half Life 11. Uh, because there are still some parts missing that I think Apple could have took a little time with as many uh, talented engineers they have. They could have added more stuff to uh, iDVD, which works great. But, you know, they could have made new menus for it or something. Some uh, new themes maybe in there. Something to, to spruce it up a little bit anyway. Give us something. Um, and iWeb, which is what I created my new website with. I actually used uh, iWeb for it. Um, and uh, this is the website, jackstechcorner.com, and this is all just created with iWeb. So um, I, I like it. It's really the first time I ever sat down and designed anything with it, but uh, it works really nice. My old website was all done with tables. Uh, you know, it's hard with formatting and moving things around. This is really nice. You just create text or throw a picture in there, and you can drag it and drop it wherever you want to, and it stays put. Uh, and if you put text off to the side, like over here, it doesn't interfere with this text, so it's, it, it's nice. But they should have, again, they should have updated iWeb uh, to something newer. They should have made some new menus for it. They should have made some new themes or whatever. Uh, they could have done more with that. So with that, folks, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I really hope you try uh, the new uh, iLife 11. I don't know if they're going to have a demo or not. I mean, I was able to pick up a copy early on here uh, to put on the on the Mac here and get started with it. But, um, and I'm going to play more with it, and if you have any questions, by all means, email me. It's jackstechcorner at gmail.com, and I'm sure uh, together, maybe the two of us, we can help each other out with it. So until next time, as always, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and now maybe even keep the, the VCRs rolling. And I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.